the sea of Sargossa, I wandered one night, the moon it was shining quite clear, for no reason at all, I heard someone call for Abdullah Bulbul Amir. Now Abdullah Bulbul I knew to be dead, the story had spread near and far, how he lost his life while plunging his knife into Ivan Skivinsky's Skivar. I pondered, the moonbeams descended quite low, casting shadows suffusely, and then I discovered that I was standing close by the tombs of those two famous men. And in the tomb's shadows there were rose from a grave, the form of a Russian hussar, and my skin nearly peeled. As he stood revealed, it was Ivan Skivinsky Skivar. T'was he who was calling, I hardly dared breathe, my heart most stopped beating from fear. When out of a grave, in need of a shave, rose Abdul the Bulbul appeared. Thou wouldst speak with me, Ivan, quoth Abdul quite low. I wouldst replied, Ivan, quite clear. That quarrel we had, t'was all to the bad. Friend Abdul, a bulbul, a beer. I've lain here for ages with that on my mind, and that's why I called you tonight. Well, I might the same state, quoth Abdul the Great, T'was foolish that we two should fight. O oh, friend, thou art blameless, cried Ivan in shame, The fault was in my hands alone. But Abdul said, nay, t'was never that way, The fault was no one's but mine own. Dost think I'm a coward, quoth Ivan Skivar, Step forth and I'll slice off thine ear. O oh, son of a cat, you'll never do that, Quoth Abdul the Bulbul and Beer. So once more they battled and fought as before, The multitudes came from afar. And lauded with cheers, these bold buccaneers, this Turk and this Russian hussar. The ghost of the Tsar on the fiery black steed came rushing to witness the fray. While the Sultan sat there in his royal gold chair, it was just like a scene from a play. T'was just at that moment, each sword found its mark, and I heard a blood-curdling scream. I opened my eyes, and to my surprise, I found it was only a dream.